the first step is adding some olive oil for to prep the filling for the turkey pot pie. Increase my flame. I uh, chose to cut up eight potatoes because I'm looking to get at least two whole pies. If we, if I could get three pies out of it, it would be great. Right here I have one whole onion that's diced, one half cup of celery, and approximately 15 baby carrots that I cut up. And I've added all of, all of that to the pie. I'm adding the, the turkey leg pieces to my vegetables. So everything is going to cook together. I'm going to add uh, some olive oil. About a quarter of a cup. I'm covering the vegetables and the turkey leg that I shredded to put in here. So I'm going to let it cook on low for about five minutes. And then I'm going to turn it off and add it to my pie crust and put it in the oven. I am taking the foil off. I'm trying to get three pies out of this mixture. So let's see what we can get. This is a 100% a vegan pie crust that I'm putting the filling into. This is the 100% whole wheat pie crust that I'm filling right now. The last pie shell that I'm filling is the uh, regular deep dish pie shell pie crust from Stop and Shop, the local grocer. I'm about to um, pour a vegetable broth into my pie crust over the filling. This is low sodium, it's organic, and it's we're gonna use it as a pie filler to add to our pie. I have added three quarters of a cup of the vegetable broth to each pie to the filling. Then 
I'm going to add the color. So like I said before, this is the regular pie crust. You could just place the pie crust over. I'm going to close up the two pie crust. The top and the bottom. I just added the top piece. My pie crust kind of fell apart. Does it matter if your pie crust falls apart? Yes and no. Um, if you could tolerate a, a torn pie crust, then it doesn't matter. But if you cannot tolerate a, a torn pie crust, then hopefully you have a backup one in the freezer. Um, I'm going to still try to make mine work. It doesn't bother me if it's torn or not. As long as it's good, that's all that matters to me. Our pie has been cooking for 45 minutes, ready to come out of the oven. This is the whole wheat pie. Remember it wasn't in the best condition, so it's kind of split, but I'm gonna let it sit here and cool before I cut it. This is what it looks like. It's kind of coming apart, but that's completely fine. Um, There we have it.